In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A very warm welcome to this Mass when today we keep the feast of St. Oswald, St. Oswald King. I'm trying to one, work out why the sound is reverberating around quite the way it is. Anyone else hear funny things? It's not just me. Is it doing it now? Yeah. No. This does mean I'm not on the microphone, which apologies to anyone who is joining us online. Hopefully if I speak up, I'll still be audible one way or another. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. We are often slow to follow the example of Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We often fail to be known as Christ's disciples. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We often fail to walk the way of the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, who so kindled the faith of King Oswald with your spirit, that he set up the sign of the cross in his kingdom and turned his people to the light of Christ, grant that we, being fired by the same spirit, may always bear our cross before the world and be found faithful servants of the gospel. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. So we sit for our first reading. A reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. The righteous live forever and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore, they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand he will cover them, and with his arm he will shield them. The Lord will take his zeal as his whole armour and will arm all creation to repel his enemies. He will put on righteousness as a breastplate and wear impartial justice as a helmet. He will take holiness as an invincible shield and sharpen stern wrath for a sword, and creation will join with him to fight against his frenzied foes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. The response to the psalm is, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh Lord, what are we that you should care for us? Mere mortals, that you should think of us. We are like a puff of wind. Our days are like a passing shadow. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Bow your heavens, O oh Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. I will play to you on a ten-stringed lyre. You give victory to kings and have rescued David, your servant. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Rescue me from the hurtful sword and deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples whose mouths speak deceitfully, and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever would become my followers, let them deny themselves 
and take up their cross and follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus' Jesus' disciples said, Yes, now you are speaking plainly, not in any figure of speech. Now we know that you know all things, but do not need to have anyone question you. By this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each one to his home, and you will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, because the Father is in me. I have said this to you, so that in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage, I have conquered the world. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please take a seat. I think I've worked out what the funny noises are. They're not anything to do with the sound system. It's work going on outside. It's when it's carried on happening with my microphone off when Rosemary was reading. Oh, yeah. It's easy to blame the technology when it's nothing to do with it. Today, as I said, the church keeps the feast of St. Oswald. Born around the year 605, the king of King Aelfrith of Northumbria, Oswald was forced to leave home after his father's death and moved to Iona where, influenced by the monks of St. Columba, he was baptised. Returning to Northumbria in 634, Oswald defeated the British king, setting up a cross as his standard and gathering his men around it to pray the night before the battle. A man of humility and generosity, Oswald worked closely with his friend Aidan, travelling with him on his missionary journeys and acting as his interpreter. He died in battle on this day in 642, defending his kingdom from the Mercians. Fascinating hearing some of those, the names of the great saints who we hear mentioned from time to time, all coming together. You've got Columba, you've got Aidan, you've got them in Northumbria, you've got them going to Iona. And at the centre of this is all a king. I can't imagine a king nowadays going along on missionary journeys with his friend to act as an interpreter. Surely an interpreter is something of sort of a servant, some, you'd employ someone else to do, not actually get someone who's important to do it for you. On the other hand, I suppose, there's those pictures of Queen Elizabeth during the war driving <laughs> trucks around and things, isn't there? So maybe it's not as straightforward as we sometimes think. But here is a king whose faith was so strong that he went on missionary journeys. Here is a king whose faith was so strong that he went not just wanting other people to bring people to know Jesus and bring them to baptism, but here's a king who decided to get his hands dirty and do it himself, joining the missionaries, going with them, accompanying them, encouraging them, helping them, (coughs) bringing other people to faith. And here is a king who in the end, was martyred. A king whose faith was so important that he lost his life rather than losing his faith. So we pray today for all those who have the conflict of faith and life, all those who have to make decisions, possibly with quite bad results sometimes, about whether to hold fast to their faith and have persecution, or take what might be an easier way out to try and save their life. We pray that we may not ever be in that situation that we have to make those decisions. And praying also that other people may not be too, that religion will not cause wars, but instead may bring peace. Let us pray. We 
we pray for strength to follow Jesus. And the response to Saviour, we hear your call, is help us to follow. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, unless you change and become humble like little children, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, happy are the humble. They will receive what God has promised. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, be merciful as your Father is merciful. Love your enemies and do good to them. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you. There is no greater love than this, to lay down your life for your friends. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, go to people everywhere and make them my disciples, and I'll be with you always to the end of time. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. We pray for all those who are sick, suffering, or in any kind of need at this time. Among them, Father John Widows, Janet LePage, Pat Smith, Molly Lagaff, Tony Hamill, Barry Linacor, Hilary Brown, Josh Barbe, and Julia Bentley. We pray for those who have died recently. Among them, Jonathan Long, whose funeral is half ten this morning. Praying for Ruth, praying for John and Nikki and all their family. We pray for those whose years mind us at this time. Among them, Jan Farnworth, Jean Noyan, Eunice Margot, Margaret Cochran, and Joan Gilmoto. God of mercy, you'd know us and love us and hear our prayers. Keep us in the eternal fellowship of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And so we stand for the peace. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood, for he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. The Lord with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise the wonder of your work revealed in the lives of Oswald and all your holy martyrs. Before, before the foundation of the universe, you chose them in Christ as your witnesses to glorify your name and reveal before the world the light of your truth. By the Holy Spirit, you gave them great courage so that in the very weakness of this mortal body, they might conquer death and overcome its power. And so we join with them and all the powers of heaven to glorify your holy name in this, their joyful hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Michael, Saint Oswald and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory be yours almighty Father forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed.
Let us pray. God, who gave us this holy meal, in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr Oswald, by our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection, give us, with all your saints, the courage to conquer evil and so to share the fruit of the tree of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. And send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. God give you grace to follow his saints in faith and love and steadfastness. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.